Hey, what's up DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking refrigerators and in the event that yours is making a very loud screaming, screeching, or squealing sound, we're going to show you in this video the most common part that causes this. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers inside the kitchen now. Here is our side-by-side -side Whirlpool refrigerator. And if yours is making a screaming sound, we are going to show you the internal part that causes that. All right, DIYers at the table now. And in front of us is a old, worn out, damaged, and basically dead condenser. And this is the internal part. Here is your motor, and it secures itself to a bracket or brace inside your refrigerator. And the fan itself faces your compressor. And the second your compressor turns on to cool your refrigerator and freezer, the motor of the condenser turns on and spins these blades at a very fast rate. When these wear out, the inner bearings begin to fail and they make an obnoxiously unpleasant sound. And I wanna show you it. And I've got the motor and fan in place and just by spinning it, you'll hear how obnoxious it sounds. And you can hear it winding up just by spinning it with my finger, does not spin it at the rate that the motor does when it's turned on inside your refrigerator. and you can hear it getting pretty obnoxious. So what I wanna do now is show you what this exact condenser and blades sounded like when it was installed on our Whirlpool refrigerator. And what I wanna do is simulate the sound. I believe this condenser finally failed. That is what it was doing and it was extremely loud. All right, DIYers back to the table and as you just heard, this exact failed part was very loud when it was still running and again, it ultimately failed. That is not good for your compressor. Once this fails, it is no longer cooling your compressor. And believe me when I say this, your compressor relies on that cooling fan because it gets pretty hot as it continues to cool your refrigerator and your freezer. Here is our part number for your convenience. And what we will do is post a link above. Definitely check that out. It is a step-by-step -step video on how to replace this loud, obnoxious, and or failed condenser. Again, definitely check it out. You may find it very helpful. From here, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.